Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple gun in Roblox Studio. So, we're just going to be using a pistol from the toolbox, and we're going to be giving it our own script. So, the first thing we're going to do is open up the toolbox, and find a gun. So, if you just search up gun, there should be... If the Roblox one doesn't come up, just click these filters, and under creator, search for Roblox, and choose Roblox, click apply, and then just choose a gun. Uh, there's no not not any guns that I want, so I'm just gonna search a pistol. There we go. That's that looks good. So if I insert the pistol, make sure it's not in the starter pack. Make sure none of them are in the starter pack. And then I close out the toolbox. And now if I choose which gun I want, so I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I want this one. So this is our gun that we're gonna be scripting. But I'm also gonna insert some dummies that we can shoot. So if you go to the avatar section and then click build rig. You can then choose to build an R15 block rig, and I'm just going to make a few of them by duplicating each one, so we can test our gun. So, now in this pistol, in the workspace, I'm just going to change the name of it to gun, and then under this weapons system, I'm just going to delete it all, delete this weapons type, and delete this configuration. So then, in this gun, I'm going to insert a local script, and I'm going to call it local, and then in here, what I'm going to do is say local mouse equals game dot players dot local player colon get mouse and then a pair of brackets. Alright, so now I want an event that fires every time the mouse button is pressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say mouse dot button one down colon connect pair of brackets and then function then a pair of brackets and then in here I'm just going to make it print mouse dot target. So it's printing whatever the mouse if the mouse has a target. So now if I play our game, we can see if this works. So if I open up my gun and then I click on the dummy, you can see it's saying head. And if I click on the base plate, it says base plate. And if I click other places, you can see it's showing other different things. So I'll also, if I click random places in the air, you can see it just says nil because it's not firing anything. But also currently our gun's just lying on the floor. So we need to make sure it is attached to our player's hand what we can do is put this starter pack gun thing back in the workspace and then we're going to put in this handle we're going to insert a weld constraint and then we're going to change the part zero to the handle and the part one to this pistol here and then i'm going to make another one and change part one to the magazine and then make another one and change part one to the bolt so now it's all welded together we can put it back in our starter pack and carry on scripting it. So currently we have a local script that's telling us our mouse is target, but we want to send this to the server so we can actually damage the player. So in this gun here, we're now going to make a normal script, so a server script, and I'm just going to call this server, and then I'm also going to add a remote event, and I'm going to call it shot. So now in this local script, I'm going to delete this print line, and I'm just going to make it so whenever the mouse one down, it fires this remote event, so script.parent.shot, colon fire, server, and a pair of brackets, and then mouse.target. And that's done for the local script, now I can close out of that, and we need to pick that up in the server script. So what I'm going to say is script.parent.shot.on server event, colon connect function. And now in the, this pair of brackets here, we need to take uh, some parameters. So the player that's actually shot shooting another player, and then a comma, and then the uh, whatever the target of the mouse is, so I'm just going to call that target. First thing we're going to do is make sure this target isn't in the player, in the player's character. So what we're going to do is going to say if target, colon, is descendant of, and then a pair of brackets, and then player dot character, then we're just going to print not damaging because is player that shot but we're going to say else so if it's not a descendant of the player so if it's something else we're going to say if target dot parent colon find first child humanoid so if this is checking to see if the target's got a humanoid so if it's a player basically or a dummy then we're going to say target dot parent dot humanoid dot health minus equal 10 
So this is very basic, it's just going to take 10 health every time, whatever this is, it's shot, and then I'm just going to print target.parent, then a comma, and then lost 10 health. And now if I test the game, just click play, we can see that our gun is now in our hand, it's backwards, but we can rotate that. Then if I click on the dummy, you can see dummy lost 10 health, and I keep clicking on it, but currently it doesn't really make a difference if it's a headshot or not. And, you know, headshots generally get more damage in games. So, if I copy this, or sorry, if I cut it, I'm going to say if target.name is equal to head, then minus 20 health, else, and I paste it again, just lost 10 health. And then in this print, I'm just going to say as it was a headshot. So it's losing 20 health. So now, if I play our game, when I get the gun out, if I shoot their body, it's dummy lost 10 health. But if I shoot them in the head, you can see Dummy lost 20 health as it was a headshot. So that's pretty much it. But again, we just want to rotate this gun so it's not pointing the wrong way. So if we take this back into the workspace and then open it up, we want to change this pistol, we want to get it, and we want to rotate it all the way around. And then we want to make sure it's further forward than the handle. And then we can put this back in our starter pack and we can play the game one last time. And there, our gun is pointing the correct direction, and I can shoot all these dummies. It'll remove the health. If I get a headshot, it removes more health. And yeah, so that was how you can make a very basic gun in Roblox Studio. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.